Hey everyone, Ken Carlson here with Country Guitar Chops. And I'm going to teach you this lick I just played here, uh, which I got from my uh, Mastering the Fretboard series. This is on disc two. And what I did on disc two, well, I'll just tell you what the, about the whole series here. Uh, I originally was going to do a nice ballad with intervals, and I came up with an instrumental I played over an old Merle Haggard song, uh, Silver Wings. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, I really want to teach the... As I got explaining things, I thought, man, I need to go back farther, I need to go back farther. So I, I started uh, on disc one. Boy, I take that. I take the major scale and we just dissect it and the uh, uh, I, I teach you the degrees of the scale, the chords associated with the major scale and then we dig into the uh, cage chord system which is why I call it mastering the fretboards. I mean I, I just teach you how to play all over the neck and uh, using intervals you know you hear me say I think around chord shapes and I show you how you know when I do a lick I'm thinking around this chord shape uh, you know, and I do think around chord shapes, but but as soon as I as soon as I determine which chord shape I'm going to play around, uh, that is immediately broken down into smaller chunks, being intervals. You know, a couple strings at a time. So, <clears throat> so that's what those video series are all about. Um, first part one teaches you all the the fundamentals, and then. In part two, I take two songs, um, the second one being, or the first one being a, a Guitars and Cadillacs groove, which this lick is played to, and then this a slow ballad, Silver Wings. And I play as many intervals as I can on that. So anyway, just letting you know where this came from. Uh, like I say, it's in a, a Guitars and Cadillacs kind of groove, which is in A. <laughs> And so forth and so forth. Um, so we're going from the A to the E. And again, that lick I just played. Let me show you what I did. It's all intervals. <clears throat> and I'm using double stops. Double stops all the way down, uh, uh, except when I get in the E chord. <laughs> I'm doing alternate picking there. So, starting up here on the first and second string, I'm playing uh, the 12th and the 14th. And then we come down to 10, 12. And then we come down to 9, 10. Then 7, 9. 5, 7. 4, 5. Two, three, open E string and the second fret on the B. And I'll give you an idea what chords we're playing around. Here again, if you get the, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, mastering the fretboard part one just breaks this all down for you. Um, out of the cage chord system. So this is an A, obviously, you know, it's an A. Well, I shouldn't say it's obvious because sometimes I'll start around a different chord shape for different licks. But anyway, so this is an A. There's the triad part of that. The next one I'm thinking of is a, a G, which a G can be considered a seventh and A7. It'll act as an A7. Uh, for example, here's a... Uh, that's an A6 going to a G6, but that G6 almost, we got the 7th, kind of acts as a 7th to the A chord. So, A, G, back to an A again, there's the triad, here's an E, a D, uh, another E, a D, and an A. So if we just play the top two strings, intervals, and the way I'm picking those is double stops. I'm using a pick and a finger. So the pick catches the top string, or the, I should say the, the, the B string. My finger actually catches the top E. 
and I play them at the same time. It's a double stop, but that's, I mean, you could play them like that with two fingers. I, I play a pick and a finger for that particular lick. So then the chord progression goes to the E. What I did on the E is I walked the E down from this position here to this position here. And the way I did that, we're on the third and fourth strings. I'm playing frets four, six, three, five, two, four, and then one. Uh, one on the G string. Uh, I'm not playing the root, which is our E note there. Uh, we're just ending on the third degree there, third degree of the scale. Okay. Pick. Another pick. This is the way I'm playing it anyway. Pick, pick, finger, pick, finger, pick. And then I think it's a finger up and a pick down. So here again, whatever, whatever's comfortable for you. I'll play the whole thing now. I'll play it up to tempo so you can kind of get that. It's a syncopated lick. So watch for the da 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 da. Okay. And of course, you know, you don't have to use it in just that song. Like all these licks I play, experiment around with other songs and uh, see if you can incorporate it into your vocabulary. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.